Hey everyone and welcome to EdTech Hustle. My name is Rich and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use the website LensGo.ai to train your own model to generate specific AI images with custom styles or characters. Let me show you how. So what you're going to do is to log into LensGo.ai. You can sign up for free. It's an awesome website. Now, if you scroll to the bottom, you can see that there's a number of different models that will allow you to generate images. The one that I created a whole video on is this one, the Pixar style model. But what happens if you want to generate an image in a certain style that isn't listed on this website? Don't worry, you can actually create your own model and that's what I'm going to show you today. You'll see the option to create your own model by clicking training and models. And you can see from here, I created my own models. Let me show you a little bit about what I created. So check this out. This is the Elon Musk model. I created a prompt of Elon Musk fighting Mark Zuckerberg. Looks pretty good. And then this is the Sanrio model of some characters that I was able to create in the same style of Sanrio or the characters from like Hello Kitty. You can see a few different options at the bottom as well. For this one, I'm going to create an Animal Crossing style. I'll select anime because I'm looking more for characters than real people. And then the next step for me is to drag and drop photos to train this actual model. Okay, so you can see I just did a search for Animal Crossing characters. What I'm going to do now is just take my Animal Crossing characters and just drag them inside this window. Okay, I can take as many of these as I want. I think it works best if you have one character as opposed to one like this that lists all the characters. So I'm just going to go through and find any of the Animal Crossing characters to add to this model. Now you have to use at least eight and you can use up to 100. My guess is probably the more characters that you have or the more images that you have, the better the generation will be. It gives your model more training material. So I'm just going to go and select some of these models and in a few minutes, let's go ahead and generate this actual AI. Let's generate this Animal Crossing style. Okay, so I was able to find a ton of great character images at nookopedia.com. I also was able to upload the maximum amount, which is a hundred different images for this model. So now that I have all of my images right over here, what I'm going to do is to select start. And this will take about 25 minutes to train this model. So once it's done, I'll go and show you what it looks like. So once it's done, let me show you a little bit about what it looks like. Okay, so it was a long 25 minutes, but it looks like our model is ready. So I'm going to select this model and I will choose create. Okay, so if you excuse some of these photos from the Elon Musk model, I'm going to look for a cute looking panda bear wearing clothes in the style of Animal Crossing. Okay, here we go. You can see, I don't believe there was an Animal Crossing panda character, but I was able to generate one in a similar style to the characters in the game. Now, one of the things that you may want to try is go right over here where you can mess around with some of the image dimensions. You can add a number of images to four, so it generates four images. And you can play around with this slider, not exactly sure what it does. There's also a way for you to turn on negative prompts if you would like. Let's go ahead and try another one. Okay, for this one, I'm going to choose a pink raccoon wearing a sports jersey in the style of Animal Crossing. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look. You can see there's a few different options here. Now, what I don't like about these as much is some of them are cut off just a little bit at the top, but I was able to generate this pink raccoon in the same style of Animal Crossing. Okay, this one, a yellow Japanese raccoon dog with a green button up shirt that looks like Tom Nook in the style of Animal Crossing. I wanna see if I can make basically a yellow looking version of Tom Nook. Okay, a few different options. This one doesn't look so good, but you have one like this, which I think looks a little bit better. Uh, this one, not so bad. A few different options of characters that you can create. And while we're here, why don't we do one more? I'm going to say a groundhog with a red and black flannel shirt and big army boots in the style of Animal Crossing. 
And here we go. I really like this one. I think he looks kind of cool. You have another one who looks a little bit like the Isabel character. You can see it in the in the mouth and a lot of these actually. But again, this is one way that you can create your own model for free using lensgo.ai. You can get started right now and play around and let's see what you can create. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. Thank you.